Okay, good morning. Welcome. Oh, not yet. Okay, good morning. Welcome, Marie Curie Class of 2021. Thank you very much for joining us for this assembly today. We are getting close, folks. We are only a few days away from the big day, which is, of course, your graduation ceremony. But before that, we have a couple of other big days for you. And so we wanted to take a little time this morning to speak with you, to let you know what's happening, to let you know what you should anticipate, and also to take some time to open the door to answer any questions you may have, because as we get closer to these exciting events, we're sure you have quite a few of them. So at this point, I'm actually going to pass it over to Ms. Corbett, who is going to begin the conversation. And we will also have with us today Ms. Hughes and Mr. Epstein, who of course have been great supporters and advocates for you. And we're looking forward to working with you and we'll be coming back in and out of this morning's conversation. So uh, Ms. Corbett, are you ready? I'm on mute, sorry. <laughs> Hope you can hear me now. Um, so today I just wanted to go over a few things that I know that have been a lot of questions for students. Um, we're going to go through like the agenda said on the cover. We're going to first go through and talk about the senior awards real quick. Um, not everybody was um, nominated for a senior award. If you were nominated, you were sent a um, email with the link for the senior awards ceremony, which is tomorrow at 6 p.m. It is virtual. You are also sent a invitation in the mail, an actual paper invitation uh, for your mementos. So please make sure that you are um, on there to see what awards you win. If you do win anything, it will be inside of your graduation packet that you'll receive on graduation day. Um, on Friday, period six and seven, we are having the yearbook uh, virtual signing. So let me show you what that's going to look like. And um, you received an email from me on Friday about the virtual yearbook signing. As you can see on the screen right now, these are the steps that you have to follow in order to be able to get access to your friend's virtual yearbooks to sign. So please make sure that you follow all the steps. If you have any questions at all, you can ask anyone on our virtual yearbook signing committee. Um, the two teachers in charge of that are Ms. Schechter and Ms. Hughes. They'd be happy to help you if you're having difficulty. But really, you're just going to walk through the um, Google Doc that was provided. You're going to go to yearbooksignings.jostens.com and you're going to create your page. You put your name, your first and last name, our school, um, the signing end date, which would be on um, whatever date you want to end it, which is fine, and our state. And then what you're going to do is you're going to receive a six digit verification code. Everybody will get their own verification code. And it's really important that you put that verification code in on the link that you have to fill out for Ms. Schechter. The Google form looks like this. It's slowly loading up and it asks you what your code was. Once you submit this Google form with your name and your class on it and that six digit, Ms. Schechter will know which students you want to have access to your yearbook. It doesn't um, allow everyone to have access and it's only if you want people to sign um, and leave you notes and, and uh, happy messages. So again, that is going to be on Friday, period six and seven. At the beginning of period six, I'm going to do another live event and I'm going to show you digitally the yearbook. Unfortunately, the yearbooks, there's been um, some issues at the plant where they are being printed and you will not receive them until after um, June 25th. They are being sent home directly to your houses and what you can do is print out your virtual yearbook signing pages that your friends will be doing on Friday and paste them into your book as if they were able to see your book and sign it. 
Um, some of the other things that you want to keep in mind too is if you didn't purchase a yearbook and you still would like to, you still have the opportunity. You have until June 20th is the absolute final last day. The link is still on the school website. So uh, take a look for that. And then from there we can um, make sure that you see any of the information that you need to. Um, I don't know if I was sharing my screen the whole time, um, but hopefully I was. <laughs> okay, um, the other thing happening on Friday is the eighth grade virtual celebration. We are super excited for this. This is going to be with um, DJ Zeke of the DJ Remix Company and Entertainment brand that we used back in December with MS74. They have lots of great games um, to play with you guys on Friday. Please make sure you join. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have some of your uh, teachers there joining in. I'll be there. And the big concern, which is graduation. So graduation, we have tried to plan for every possible scenario. Um, so far, it's looking like we will be really good for Monday when it comes to weather. So we are going to make sure that we are um, planning for our outside graduation. You received, and I'll put it up on the screen for you, the student FAQ for graduation. Everyone received this at the top of the letter. It said your name, it said what your graduation date and time was. Please make sure you read this fully through. It tells you where you need to line up where you need to come at what time. Um, if your graduation is at 815, you should really be coming to school at eight with your family to the check-in center. At the check-in center, you'll receive your package that will have your diploma in it. It will have the programs in it. It will have any awards if you won awards or your National Junior Honor Society cords that you can wear at graduation. Um, that's also where you're going to get your health check and your screening. For those of you who have not been doing health checks and screenings with us, the health screening must be done the day of. You can't do it ahead of time, unfortunately. Um, you can do it ahead of time that day, but you can't do it like today for next week, okay? Um, on there, it also tells you how do you order tickets. This has been a big question that keeps coming up. There is a link there. And on the link, something that's confusing a lot of people is that it only says uh, one entry. But the one entry or the one ticket is really for two people. If you keep following the different directions that they provide you, they will ask you for the name and the contact info for two people. So you may print out one paper, but that is the entry for your uh, two guests that are allowed. Unfortunately, I've also had a lot of questions. I have a baby brother, a baby sister, you know, they're, they're, they're really tiny. They don't take up space. They'll stay on my mom's lap. I would love for them to come, but unfortunately, they count as a human. So that would not be two guests. That would be three guests. So unfortunately, um, this is going to have to be decided on which two humans you would be inviting to the graduation. Um, also realize too that it will be recorded. Probably the recording will be available on Wednesday. It will be sent to the students and to families and then you can send it out to all of your relatives and friends that you wish were able to come to see you in this great milestone that you have. OK, um, we need to make sure that everyone follows the health guidelines. You, there will be temperature checks. There will be hand sanitizing stations. Um, when students come into the graduation um, ceremony area, you'll, the students will be directed to another spot. We're going to line you up for a processional. 
Um, that means that you walk into the Pomp and Circumstance song. Um, Ms. Schechter has been awesome and has helped me get some recordings of our previous bands that have done it or our current band. Um, and uh, we're going to try to make this the best graduation possible for you guys. Um, we also need to make sure that once you're sitting where you're supposed to sit that you stay there and that's because we have you in order for when your name is called and you can walk across the stage okay we want to make sure that you get the recognition we will not be handing out your diplomas to you um, it's going to be really hard for me not to hug each one of you or shake your hand uh, that's what we normally do um, i'll be clenching my hands like this so i'll <laughs> be reminded not to do that um, but we do wish you the absolute best luck and are so proud of all of you um, for graduation, you do need to wear that cap and gown, so please make sure you take it out of the package, hang it up right now, maybe put it in the bathroom where there's steam so that you get the wrinkles out, okay? We want to make sure that you look your absolute best. Some people have asked, can they decorate their cap? Absolutely. Please just make sure it's school appropriate. You know, um, if you like Pinterest, you can put in how to decorate a cap and they'll show you tons of different ways and different ideas for that but or maybe TikTok, who knows um also the ceremony will be about 45 minutes to an hour we do have a guest speaker we're really excited about our guest speaker um she has been an educator for a long time and um she's really fascinating i really enjoy speaking with her and i hope that um you enjoy hearing from her that day um again you'll your diploma will be in the package that you will receive from your family. And um, there will be, which I think is one of the coolest things ever, is called a step and repeat, where it's a big sign um, with the background of our school logo and you can take your pictures there. So at the end of the graduation, you are going to be directed to kind of line up and walk towards that. Your family members will meet you over there so that you guys can take your pictures with your cell phones. And as you are leaving the ceremony, um, the staff will be handing out a little present from the PTA to all of you. Um, so we are really looking forward to all these exciting events. Um, and just so you know, if you're worried like I am about the weather on Tuesday, we have been watching this very closely and we promise you there will be a live event. It, we are not going to do virtual. Um, Monday, the weather looks phenomenal. We're really excited about it. Tuesday gets a little dicey. So we are currently planning to move Tuesday ceremony indoors into the auditorium, okay? So please do not worry that you won't have a graduation. You absolutely will, okay? Um, I know I've spoken a lot today. I'm not sure if Mr. Epstein or Ms. Hughes needed to say anything. Um, just give me the thumbs up, Mr. Epstein. Can I just- Okay, uh, give me one second and I'll okay. put you on the screen and I'll send you through. Give it. Go for it, Mr. Epstein. Okay, so uh, good morning, everyone. And obviously, first of all, congratulations to all of you for the exciting um, event that's to come. I just wanted to give you guys a, a couple of heads up on the high school process, um, as long as we're all, we're all here. Um, this is just a reminder, most of you, um, this is just something that you can file away, you won't need it. But um, if you were accepted to more than one high school, public high school, so if you were accepted into um, a specialized high school as or and or LaGuardia, as well as one of your regular 12 choices, you have until next Friday, so that's June 25th, the last day of school, to go on to my schools and enter the school that you want to accept that offer. So again, if you have more than one offer, for next Friday, by the end of next Friday, I should say, make sure you go on to my schools and select the school that you want. If you only have one school that you have been accepted to, you don't have to worry, it's automatically accepted for you. This is only if you have multiple offers. In addition, um, if you want to add yourself onto wait lists, so if there are schools that you, 
you, that you did not apply to um, in the first round and you decided that you'd like to attend, you also have until next Friday to go on my schools and add yourself onto those wait lists. OK, and then a final thing, and this is just because a few uh, more than a few students have contacted me with this situation. So I just want to make sure since we went over with them that we make you all aware if you got accepted into a school that is not your zoned program. So let's just say my zone school is is Bayside and um, I want to and I applied and was accepted into um, Francis Lewis, let's just say, and now I've decided I really just want to go to my zone school. Is it too late? Um, as per the high school admissions office, all you need to do is go on to the my school system and add the zoned program at your zone school. So all I'm going to do for myself is go there, add the Bayside zoned, and at some point over the summer, you will receive an offer to the zone program at your zone school. This is not a, a guarantee for anybody else, so it, it doesn't mean like I just I'm not zoned for Bayside that I want to go there, so I'm going to do this and I'll definitely get in. It's only if that is your designated zone school um, and it's not for a program there either. It's not like you're guaranteed to get into the Da Vinci program at Cardozo because Cardozo is your, your zone school. So again, just to re go over this again, if you want to go to the zone program to your zone school and you're currently accepted somewhere else, just add yourself to the zoned program at your zone school and over the summer you will get an offer. So hopefully that's clear. If you have any questions, just feel free to send me an email and I can go over it again with you. And again, one more time to make sure next Friday is the deadline to accept your seat if you have more than one offer. If you only have one offer, you don't have to do anything. It's automatically accepted. Thank you. Ms. Corbett, you're still on mute. <laughs> I said I'm, I'm leaving that in 2001. I've had enough of that. OK, um, thank you again, Mr. Epstein. I appreciate it. And um, if again, students, you have any questions at all, please let us know. We are here to help you. We promise um, to make these last couple of days great for you. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to go really quick, so please make sure you stay in the moment and enjoy. Um, this video will also be up on the school website shortly, so if you know of anybody who missed anything or your parents want to watch it, please um, send them towards the school website later today. By this afternoon, it should be on. All right, everybody, we hope you have a great day, and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye.